Wanda Michelle's interest was in decor until she built her first house. She went on to renovate a friend's home, start an interiors company, and today a fully fledged design agency. Reimagining every aspect of this Hyde Park address was her latest project. This is more of an artwork than a house. It is, Jonathan, thank you. You know, this home, when we took it over, our client bought it and needed it renovated just to add his own personality to the environment. And we decided to upgrade the finishes. We've redefined the staircases. You might see above us the bulkhead with beautiful pendants that we've added. And this in particular was specifically designed to pull your eye outward. We've curated some incredible artworks, local artists throughout the home, from this beautiful bed and retire on the wall here. I placed that in this specific position so as to reflect the wall, which has so much strength, but also because that particular piece felt to me a little like the client. And it's really important in curating art into a home that you are still reflecting something of the client's personality. This brief allowed for a more edgy, flamboyant style. So it's important for the viewers to know that everything we see here, from the tiles to even the knives and forks of the artworks, all of that was curated by you. So absolutely everything was designed and caused to be manufactured or manufactured. These pieces are all bespoke. It's custom made. And the colors are designed to reflect again what the client enjoyed, also, just to bring a little bit of vibrance and drama into the space, we use these teals and black and gold. It's very dramatic. This partition was added to by you? It was, with the fireplace um, below it. Mm -hmm. We were a little restricted in this space. It was originally quite open, and I felt that there wasn't enough coziness, really. Mm. So we added on the, the fireplace unit, but used a lot of mirror. Yeah, so it creates so that, that space. So it doesn't feel like it's restrictive. The mirrors are amazing for that, right? You can oh. just put them anywhere and it just opens up a space. To center the room, this circular painting by Elsa Duelt was chosen for its cosmic subject, a perspective on the universe to contemplate for hours. Nathan, and you'll see that we've carried this circular shape through to this area outside the mother's bedroom. We've used this beautiful Mark Mayer sculpture, which brings a bit of softness into an otherwise very square environment and lends an unexpected playfulness, really. Yeah, the sculptures are a lovely surprise all over. Yeah. They really are beautiful. This is titled, Pick Me Up, Pull You Closer. Hold Me Tighter, Pull Me Closer. Of course, there had to be a lift. Oh, yes, of course. So the lift takes us down to really a very opulent bar and cinema area, mm -hmm. and of course the 300 square meter basement parking. Wow, that's a big yeah. garage. It is a big garage. <laughs> I just love the way everything's built around the pool in like an L shape. So whether you're watching yeah. TV and the water's right there, or you're cooking a meal, you can look out onto the pool. Yes, and all of these windows and doors open up so that you can always have the benefit of fresh air into your space. This kitchen was as beautiful as this when we took over the home, but the dining room felt a little too much in the kitchen. Okay. So we've created this beautiful partitioning using again a lot of mirror. Yes. Just so that one doesn't feel hemmed in, but still there is a logical way in which to introduce the formality of the dining room. Or there's the relaxed alfresco area. And it's always lovely to have an outside dining area and lounge area. It's a must. We live in South Africa after yeah. all. We've got so much beautiful weather to soak in. I've kept this pretty simple. It is just a chill space. We actually do have a huge TV. Is that, a TV? Yeah, that's a TV. That's so cool. <laughs> that retracts <laughs> into the ceiling. Client insisted on having a TV despite this beautiful view. And I mean, you can see the detail of the gazebo mm. from here. This Bry Haven with a sunset deck on top had to be rebuilt from scratch on the same footprint, but lighter in feel and more secluded. The views from up there are beautiful, but there was a concern about privacy, so we've always got to be cognizant of the neighbours and to protect their privacy and also, again, for the client to feel a little bit more cocooned. We added in the green vertical gardens, screens it gorgeously, but up there you can really soak in the sun and, and have a bit of a party. Yeah, there's some good tips for the viewers there with those screens because it doesn't have to be ugly, the, these separations. So the neighbours won't complain because it looks pretty. Exactly. It's doing a job. 
Very often with a structure like this, you have restriction in terms of weight. And you don't want to go and build a wall, hence the use of glass balustrading. It's not terribly heavy. And then where we needed the privacy to add the green walls that you don't feel hemmed in. You still have a sense of being outside and being able to look through it. It's not solid. Absolutely. And you continue then onto the wall over there. Yeah. If the green brings life, then that organic texture is picked up in the living, moving character of five commissioned sculptures by Cecilia Wilmot Ballam. These ensure that it always feels like there are people at home, ones with the freedom of the house. Cecilia, your work's incredible because you're working with such a heavy material, but your work just seems to float. Thank you very much. Um, that's the whole idea. It's uh, the disintegration series. So the idea is using a medium that's incredibly powerful and strong to show the balance of strength and soul. This piece here, Wanda and I actually worked on the design together because we were trying to link the entertainment area with the pool and the rest of the house. And it was actually quite a fantastic series of ideas. We were thinking of gymnasts and dancers and eventually it became a diver. The idea is that he feels completely like he's fluid, like he's part of the pool, part of the water and bronze is such a strong medium that it actually becomes really, really fun because you've got this incredibly powerful medium and he's like water. And I think it embraces the space beautifully. The next statue is the lady and she's on the top balcony and she gestures down towards the swimming pool and towards the diver. And for me, she's representing like the powerful feminine. So it's quite nice to play with both the masculine and the feminine in the space. And they both link completely. They're both divers. One is coming down and the other's going up. So it's a beautiful balance. It's got like an alchemy between the two of them, which is any area that you sit in that you can see both of them, you, you get to experience that alchemy. If the sculptures embody the spirit of the place, one room best reflects the owner. Welcome to the master suite. So we have a, an entrance hall. An entrance hall to the master suite. Entrance hall to the master suite. <laughs> this is a lovely feature wall. Look at the way the light's hitting that. It's like an artwork in itself. It is, and you'll notice the sculpture under the stairs, almost as if he's holding the stairs up, again, designed specifically for the space. While expansive, the bathroom is simple. A space to steam in hot water and reflect. This house offers so much breathing space. Everything is so open and yet still private. Yeah. And whilst there are doors to this bathroom, um, I highly doubt anyone will ever close them. <laughs> Why would you? Should we actually look at the bedroom? Because now this is a suite and now we just we haven't even got to the bedroom yet. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. An ink on cotton artwork by Robin Denny provokes thought amidst the luxury. This is one of the environments I'm the most proud of. Our designers were tasked with creating something unique, bold. I believe we've achieved that with the use of the stone, the mirror, upholstery, pedestals that complement it so perfectly. It feels like it's a strong space. This is a headboard. This is a headboard. That is a pretty incredible headboard, right? This gives the opulence. Opulence is the right word for sure. It is. But now headboards are really a speciality because each room's got a unique headboard, one of a kind headboard, right? Each piece is distinctive. You'll see we've created a 3D effect. It has texture and depth, but it still talks to the rest of the room. Mm -hmm. And lovely curved ceiling. It just pulls you into a space. And this too takes an otherwise awkwardly spaced bedroom and pulls you through. So by using the curved bulkhead, we've almost created two separate spaces. Yeah, and lighting over there helps as well and yeah. separates it from the roof. It does. Surrounded by the sand and buzz, you need a quiet space to unwind. There's so many great things for viewers to pick up in this house, like tips for their own homes mm -hmm. with regards to partitions like that using the greenery and the importance of wallpaper because you've really used it well throughout the house. Always, for instance, in this home, we've even used wallpaper in the little girl's room on the headboards. Just to add some softness, a little bit of quirkiness. We've used in that room lots of pinks and purples. So unlike the rest of the house, it's that very pretty romantic space that I, I love creating. Even in winter, from mid-morning to mid-afternoon, 
This deck offers uninterrupted hours of sunshine. So this roofed up deck really is just, you'll see it's quite sparse, quite minimal. It's really just a space that the client can come and escape to. Beautiful treetops, just a, a sense of serenity and relaxation is the intention up here. Well, thanks so much for showing us around this lovely place. I think I'm going to make myself comfortable on this day bed, if you don't mind. Absolutely, enjoy it. Thank you. Oh, yes. This is the life. It is possible to escape the city without even leaving it.